And could new lines be drawn right through Topeka? Well, that's where we begin tonight, ahead of a Topeka City Council meeting. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm David George. Topeka City leaders are meeting tonight to discuss drawing new City Council districts. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in downtown Topeka. James, what can we expect from the new voting map? David, I'm told each of the districts needs to have around 14,000 people, but right now I'm told two of the districts don't have enough and three of them have too many. Take a look at this. This is a map of the current voting districts that shows the population change from 2010 to 2020. Karen Hiller represents District 1. Now, this is the district that saw the greatest population drop. Her district and District 2 are going to need an additional 600 people to balance the map, but she says redistricting is more than just the numbers. That redistricting commission looks at the numbers, but they also look at what are the natural boundaries, whether it's the river or the interstate or, or neighborhood areas that are contiguous that we want to keep together if we can. The city saw the most growth in the west and southwest side of the city. Districts 7, 8, and 9 will all need to be trimmed by 100 to 300 people. To do this, each council member will appoint a registered voter from their district to join a redistricting committee. Now, tonight is only a presentation. The districting committee is supposed to meet for the first time in July, and the city needs to have new maps ready by the end of the year. Live in downtown Topeka, covering local news that matters. James Ryan, KSNT News.